Hello everybody. We're bringing her back with the Great Reclamation, episode three of the post-gym rant, if you will. So I feel like we've got some pretty epic topics to talk about today. You know, I even busted out the nifty difty book for this one. <laughs> so we'll just jump right into it. First off, had a very, very gnarly chest pump today. Good chest workout, worked out uh, chest, tries, mixed in a little bit of shoulders in there, just so we could get the whole front profile, all the push stuff down. And uh, it turned out pretty good. Um, I was putting up some good numbers. So I was definitely very happy with the outcome. First time I was uh, pause repping 225 on the bench, I felt pretty dang good on that. I know it's not a whole lot, but definitely feels good to finally be able to get that done. Wherever you're at in your, in your gym, transition, journey, what have you, um, just make sure to keep your head to the grindstone. It really is important in this generation especially that we have more more men in general i mean i'm trying to target more young men but in general it's better to have everybody in the gym and working out i was waiting i was wanting to do this later in the video but we're going to do it right now um, we're going to get into a little talk about uh weak men right now, whenever a lot of people, I, kn I know that uh, in this generation, everybody talks about like the big dumb jocks, whatnot, being being the problem. But let's be honest here. Um, whenever you have a bunch of weak, isolated people, they're the ones that are going to be the detriment to society, right? Not to be that guy, but if you look into most of these mass shootings that we have here in the U.S. It's not exactly the dumb jocks or, you know, popular kids. It, it's none of that. It's people that have been ostracized. And it, it's really sad whenever that happens. Me personally, you know, being a bit more of the loner type, I hung out with a couple people, but it was enough to keep me in my right mind. Whereas those other people, they either have one friend or they have no friends and they're lonely they're isolated they're looking for a purpose and whenever they are feeling weak like they can't do anything that's whenever they start doing the bad things and i i just think it's a shame it it truly hurts my heart whenever i hear about all these things so Whenever you want to try and think to yourself, like, am I good? Or is this person good? Ask yourself this. Are you or the other person, are they strong? Now, strong is not going to be uh, categorized as violent. Because plenty, clearly, plenty of weak people are hyper-violent. They they're ready to go at a moment's notice. But are you strong? Are you steadfast? Do you have a good constitution? Do you have the strength to tell people no whenever they know that they're about to do something wrong and they want to include you in it? Now, this is one thing that I personally think about a lot. So I've, I've been having this debate with myself for a long time. For those of you watching that know me, um, I wasn't exactly the biggest guy and I'm still not. Not a very big guy. But one thing I pride myself in is being strong. And whenever you're strong, but you don't always impose that on others. That's what I consider to be pretty good. 
whenever you have the strength to topple a nation, but you choose instead to live in peace. That's something. We can even equate that to the Lord. Let's think about this for a second. Jesus Christ, when he came down to the earth, he had the complete and utter blessing of God because he was God himself, just in human form. He could do anything. He walked on water. He stopped storms. He healed people. He banished demons. Heck, he even... He literally combated the devil. If he wanted to, he had the power to destroy the earth again. And instead he chose love. He chose peace. He chose kindness. He chose to take us all in as his children. That's strength. And that's, that's pretty crazy, you know. Just sitting there thinking about that, like, how lucky are we? So I digress. We can equate this, my final point, to a very famous saying. It is better to be a warrior in a garden than a gardener in war. What are you doing to train yourself to make yourself strong in these times of peace. Do whatever you need to do to make that happen. This is an urgent thing that we all need to be working on and focused on alongside our other lives that we are living. So we're gonna move on to the next part something that I really don't want to talk about, but realistically, I kind of need to. Um, dealing with grief. If you guys have been following along, um, October 12th at 3.30 in the afternoon, my brother died. Got in a motorcycle wreck and, you know, things have been pretty tough at my house on my shelf. I have his ashes sitting there. It hurts my heart. It feels as though it's been ripped out of my chest. And the only thing that's gotten me through it is the love of my family, the love for my fiance, and the love from the Lord. If not for the Lord, <laughs> Buddy might have crashed out. <laughs> but, um, you know, grief has been really funny for me because I'll go on here and there and be just fine. And then at a moment's notice, my eyes start welling up with tears. I, I can lose motivation to do anything the brain fog has been absolutely crazy. And uh, so far it's been a really tough process, but there was one thing that, that my brother used to always tell me whenever he was still here. Every time we would get done texting or get off the call, he'd always say, hey, my brother in Christ, keep your chin up. It's really tough to look forward whenever you're looking down. So I've been taking that to heart. Still holding my head proud. Proud to be a follower of Christ. I'm proud I got to know him. same time though it sucks it really just sucks but 
so far that's all I've got to say on that. One more thing I would like to I would like to touch on is um, dealing with impulsive thoughts and uh, just those bad bad thoughts that are running around in your head. My fiance brought up something to me the other day that was huge and it was during one of those sporadic moments where I just wasn't doing too good and uh, she brought up the point that a lot of those impulsive thoughts that you're having call me crazy but they could be demons demons as we know they they really just are here to torture us they find joy in making us hurt. Whatever is God's creation, they want it to suffer. Now, if we go back through, throughout all the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, what is the one thing that they stress? It is the power of Jesus Christ in his name. How he was able to banish these demons how he would make them go away at the mere sound of his name. So while I was having all these bad thoughts, we prayed on it. And in the same token, she banished him away. Now, if you don't know how to do this, it's it's gonna feel weird at first. I know I had, I know it was kind of weird and almost surreal for me as well. Because I, I've had plenty of moments where I just have so many bad thoughts and so much stuff is going on. I have to say, demons, Whoever you are, whatever you are, I banish you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Through the power of his name, be gone and never come back. Now, I'd be lying to you if I, if I said, oh yeah, I did it once and it worked forever. Absolutely not. The demons are always going to keep coming for you. But never hesitate to fight back. The Lord our God is so good to us. And he is always there to protect us. So never be afraid to use his name to combat these demons, to combat these bad things. That's one thing that we've forgotten as a society. America was founded on God-fearing Christians. And ever since we've strayed, things have gone down. So if we can get back to God and remember to be strong and do our due diligence maybe we can make the world a better place again. Now, excuse me. So that's all I've really got to say on that point. Um, after this, there's going to be a little transition and uh, show you guys the results from the gnarly chest day. And, uh, you know, just remember, tell those that are around you, your folks, your friends, your family, make sure and tell them that you love them, because you never know when it'll be the last. That's all I've got for you guys. Enjoy the transition, and uh, make sure to have a great day. That's all i got for you folks. See ya.